Before the beginning, there existed nothing. Then, two beings came into existence. The grandmother and the grandfather. Through their love, they created the old world and all the life therein. Knowing their work needed someone to govern it, the grandparents brought forth three offspring to rule over the realms of existence. Solaris, born of the golden flames of the sun. Lunalis, born of the shining metals of the moon. And Talos, born of the dirt and water of the earth. These three titans ruled in peace for many millennia. But as time progressed, the titans were pulled in different directions by their creators. The grandmother directed and commanded them to be righteous and holy, whereas the grandfather opposed this, guiding and teaching them to be autonomous and self-serving. And as a result of these conflicting ideals, the titans waged war against each other and everything in the old world until their hatred for one another had ripped apart the fabric of reality itself. The grandmother and grandfather, seeing their children destroy what they had created, chose to start anew, stripping the divine powers from their children. However, the grandmother, believing the hatred and animosity in their children to be a product of the grandfather's shadowy heart, chose to take the creation of a new universe into her own hands. And she ripped out the grandfather's heart and locked him away in the reverie, the void filled with the grandmother's forgotten dreams. But before he was sealed away, the grandfather foresaw his return in 200,000 years after the birth of the new world. But the grandmother neglected his threat and used his heart created the new universe. After the creation of the new world, the grandmother concealed herself, choosing not to live among her creations as she had before. The Titans, however, governed their domains without the divine influence, but solely with remnant sparks of their own power. They ruled over the realms where the inhabitants believed them only to be legend. 200,000 years have now passed, and we find the Titans meeting at the Fountain of Lost Dreams, the Seal of the Reverie. After so long, today is the day, Father. Tal, it's good to see you. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Oh, only about 200,000 years. Come here, brother. You're looking good, man. Glad to see you kept yourself up all this time, huh? And you are not looking too bad yourself. <laughs> I guess the solar realm does wonders on the complexion. Ah. He is here. Passionably late, as usual. Uh, uh, it's far too bright out here. Hey, Talos, good to see you again. And I see the heat freak is here as well. Loom, good to see you too. Took your time on today of all days, huh? Can you blame me? It's not like father is a high priority. See, so you have not grown your idiocy yet. And I think that you're still a And you speak to mother with that mouth, tough guy? And what are you gonna do, hotshot? Use your almighty celestial powers to strike me down? Oh wait, you don't have those anymore. I don't need celestial powers to kick your puny ass. Hey, 
look at me! I'm the god of the Shung! Fear me and my powers of heat! Hey, Bojo, you know what's better than the Shung? Any celestial body in existence! Alright, that's it! Brothers! Brothers! It is time. Are you ready? Alright then. Let's begin. With it, fly free, my children. Marry and make war. Build fleeting empires, towers of cards, and beautiful disasters. Leave nothing in your wake as you search for my heart, my titans. And once you find it, then we will show this world and your mother exactly what it means to be cast to the side. <laughs> <laughs> 